So today's Sunday, and I'm going to do a little short video because we got some items in the mail that I want to open up for you guys. Let me show you. We got three padded flat or padded envelopes here that we're going to open up. So I know what all of these are. So let's open up this one first. already see what it is we got some Wii games we got Mario Galaxy and Super Paper Mario well, these two should be complete yep next items we're gonna open up we'll open up the tiny one And that is, they put it in a nice little plastic film. Look at that. Uh, Super Mario Land. So, the 3DS butt. Ooh. This is just the case and the menu. I lied. Is this the menu? Maybe it is. Okay. It's just the case because I have the game inside the, the office. It needs to be clean. It's kind of dirty. All right. They wrapped it in newspaper because newspaper is the most protective item so you can ever, you know, wrap something in. I mean, this is, this right here will make sure that nothing will pierce it ever. But it's in bubble wrap. So it's like a present. We got a present. That's right. We got some N64 games. We got Banjo Kazooie. And. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. These three are actually going to be posted to get cases for all those 3ds games i got a while ago and uh that is one of them i think i have one more case coming should be here i think the beginning of next week and a lot of stuff's coming next week so stay tuned we're also working on something right here let's go find out and see how it's doing we're working on something personal of mine and we're going to check it out and see if it's even working and how long i have to leave this out here in the bright sun So, we're trying to de-yellow the front cover of this Game Boy. So far, it looks like it's doing pretty good. Lightened it up quite a bit. So, we're going to leave it out here for maybe another day or two. That back looks pretty good, too. I'm flip that around. So we There's another way to do that, and that is to essentially do a hydrogen peroxide bath with some UV lighting. But I'm going to start out this way first because the sun is free and I really don't want to make a mess or have buy a whole bunch of hydrogen peroxide as of right now. But it is an efficient way to do it. There's a channel that you could see how it's done. We're back for Monday. That means weekend sales and guess what? We killed it again. Let me show you. Before I start, I wanted to show you guys what I picked up today at Goodwill in the thrift store. So I have four PlayStation 2 games. This game is called Spy Hunter, Ultimate Spider-Man, Need for Speed Carbon, and then Shadow the Hedgehog. And then I grabbed Spider-Man for the PlayStation 4. This was about 15 bucks. And I've been wanting to play this for a while, so I'm going to keep that. Everything else is going to be for sale. Let me show you what's sold this weekend. All right, first game is something we just grabbed and put up for the PlayStation 2. And that was Spider-Man 2 for the PlayStation 2. This was complete. And we sold that for $13.97 plus shipping on top.
Next item is something that I never thought I was going to be able to sell at all. But someone hit me up with an offer, and I accepted. It's going to be here in it's W5. And that's this guy right here. This is a complete Wii operations manual from the Nintendo Wii. And I found an extra one in a box. So I decided to throw it up and sell it. And it has the operations manual, the setup, channel settings. It's pretty much all the paperwork. Now, originally, I had this for $10 with the 15% off. But I got an offer of $3, which I didn't want. So I took... Uh, I responded for a counter offer and I decided to go for because I don't think this thing's going to sell didn't anticipate this thing selling any time soon but it actually did and I'm okay taking four bucks for it plus shipping on top very happy with that considering I, it's an operations manual for a Wii these next items I had on auction because I didn't want to sell them individually so I threw them up on auction for sale I'm gonna grab them right now they're in here we're actually going to grab a couple stuff out of here of what sold was a lot of Nintendo DS games. These were a lot of slow, unwanted DS games. So I just threw them up for auction. Um, just because I really didn't want to hold on them for too long. Um, and I'm surprised with what they sold for. Now, if you guys don't recall, I had this in a lot of DS games with that pink case. You can see the episode. See it a couple episodes ago. It's been a while. But I only picked that up for like eight bucks and it had three DS games, DS games. Didn't have a DS and not including the bag. So I'm pretty happy with this because this pretty much paid for that whole entire item I bought. So we ended up selling that lot of DS games on an auction for $8.50 plus shipping on top. The item we sold is a book, Hidden Prayer by John Stanford. And we got $10 plus shipping on top for that. A couple of items are for Andrew. And Andrew, I do appreciate it, but he bought some really good items and some really good games. Let me show you. Now the first item, I already grabbed it out of the container that I was pulling those DS games, and that is Tetris. For the Game Boy. Now it's not in the best shape, but it's still the original Tetris game and it works. Game is a 360 game, and that is one of the better Rockstar games I actually enjoyed. And that is. Well, let's check out. I got two of them. You'll get this one, Andrew. This one looks a little bit better. This is Red Dead Redemption for the Xbox 360. Now, both of these Red Deads are complete with the map. Now, the next couple ones are some retro games, which I'm excited. Can't wait to see Andrew's pickup video and uh, see his collection. So, Andrew, throw up a video of your collection. I'd like to see it. And soon, I'll have a couple extra video games for my collection that I'm about to post as well. So, the first game I'm going to pull is a NES game, which Andrew just bought the NES from me not too long ago. And that is this game right here. This is Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt and uh, Track Me. This is a three cart combo, which is pretty cool because it has two of the first launch games of the system. Also, Andrew, let me know how that's going. Since you have a CRTV, you're actually able to use the guns. Let me know if that's working, because I enjoy playing Duck Hunt as a kid. Next two games that he purchased are right down here. And that is these two games right here. He purchased, this is Donkey Kong 64 with the expansion pack. And he also purchased Mario 64, which are two items I just listed, which I'm excited for. On my video, Donkey Kong 64 holds a place in my heart. Um, I played that game all the way through, beat it, and then my save file got corrupted. 
but every time I hear that intro, I can't beat it. And if anyone is actually watching, I've actually been streaming. Stay tuned because I'll put my Twitch um, link in the description and you guys get notifications when I start streaming. I might be doing it here and there. I might even be doing it later today because I had lots of fun playing last night. Everything that Andrew got and purchased, I really do appreciate it, like, like I said. So I'm gonna have to get these all pictured up, shipped out. We got some work to do. If you guys were also watching a couple days videos, I've been doing something with a uh, Game Boy. So this is my original Game Boy as a kid and it started to get really yellowed. So what I did is I put it outside in the sun, and just let it bake for the next, oh well, it's been a day. So let's go check that out. So far, like I said, this has only been sitting out for one day and it's still yellowed, but it is nearly, it's clearly not as bad as it was. And today is an overcast day, so I'm not exactly sure how well it is, but if I leave this out for another couple of days or so, I'm gonna have my Game Boy looking pretty damn good. I'm excited for that. It's supposed to be a little overcast for the next couple of days, so I'm not sure if it's gonna get enough sun. But like I said, this is an experiment for me. See if maybe I can get some of those systems and old Game Boy games and old games back to their pristine looking condition. So this is a less expensive way of doing it. So stay tuned. One more thing come through, and that is Kirby's Mass Attack for the Nintendo DS. This is complete. And we sold that for $30 plus shipping on top. Got packages. Let's find out what it is. Package time. I don't know what these are, to be honest with you. So we got this tiny one. Open it up, find out what it is. Box isn't too bad. Oh, didn't know it was coming today, but it's here. I'm excited for this. That is, we got a retro tink. So if you guys don't know what a retro tink is, this is, um, wow, not bad like it this is an AV to HDMI out could be S video as well which this is I can't remember which one this was they have a bunch of them on there this is the 2x mini um, decided to invest in this because I started streaming and I want to play some of my retro games but I don't want to play them looking like shit or just getting a standard like Amazon AV to HDMI adapter. I want something a little bit better. And I've been looking at it and decided to go ahead and invest in Retro Tink to see how well it is. Now this comes with the Retro Tink itself. Uh, is that power? Yeah, power cable. And then this also comes with a GameCube, NES, SNES, um, uh, S-Video in. So that's supposed to help with clarity and better quality of image when it comes to the input coming into this device. And then the output is actually going to go to the Elgato, then to the TV. And that's supposed to also help with no latency and lag. So I'm excited for this. I won't be using this anytime soon. I'll set it up and try it out. But right now I'm playing Super Mario Sunshine on stream. So I'm going to get through that first. And then maybe Mario Party RPG. It's kind of or Mario Party. It's a Super Mario RPG. We'll see though. Excited for that. That is awesome. Uh, these aren't cheap. I think all in all I paid about 80 bucks for this thing. Which is a lot more expensive than your standard AV to HDMI out for like 20 bucks, if that, on Amazon. So um, hopefully it's worth the investment. Now let's open up the big guy and 
the big, the big guy, the big guy don't sound good. The big guy does not sound good at all. Um, big guy sounds like they didn't pack anything, and I'm afraid what's in here might be broken or dead. Wow, that was, this is, okay, well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's clearly not packed at all, at all. Oh, I hope this works and not busted apart, I'm really afraid. Okay, cool. So... I'll show you what this is. This controller has been beat up. I don't know if that happened in shipping or not, but it also feels like the controller's not in the right spot or something's wrong. Like, I'm gonna have to take it apart and take a look at it. But this is a fairly clean PlayStation 2, uh, I can't remember what this, like sea green controller. Um, we got an eight megabyte PlayStation 2 control. We have an OEM, yep, OEM uh, power cable. <laughs> One more eight megabyte uh, memory card. And then this is a PlayStation 2 Silver Slim. Um, it's not in the best shape. Needs some TLC. It is... It has been opened before. Um, how much did I pay for this? I think I paid about 60 bucks for this or something. Maybe less. I can't remember. I um, thought I purchased this like maybe two days ago as well. So I sell these if this is working in a decent shape for about a hundred hundred to hundred and twenty dollars plus a controller. So I'm going to test this out, make sure it all works, which is good because I got some PlayStation 2 games I'm gonna test it on. And hopefully it's not the worst. Um I really wish they put some bubble wrap around something like they didn't protect it in this box at all, and you can see from this box, this thing's, it's in all right shape, but this came in pretty fast, to be honest with you, but again, that was three-day priority mail, so there's that. Test those PlayStation 2 games I just picked up. Let's see if we can get this guy to work. I kind of hope it works. I really didn't plan on investing any more money into this, besides maybe time and cleaning it up, so... Let's see. Power's on. So that's a plus. The laser's somewhat working, so that's a plus. Let's go ahead and try Shadow the Hedgehog. Disc isn't in the best shape. Looks like someone tried to clean it. Okay. Oh, it played. Yes. Yes. It just needs to be cleaned up. This controller is garbage, but I, I can fix that. Oh, geez. It's not making the best noise. Uh, no memory card. Oh, pew. Continue without saving, yes. Awesome. So all in all, I paid about $63 for that PlayStation 2. And it works. It just needs to be cleaned up. So like I said, I sell that for like $100. So I'll make some profit off of that. And I sell those 
extremely fast, so maybe I'll bump up the prices, but that also means the shadow of the uh, hedgehog is working perfectly fine as well. Extremely happy about that. Can't wait to get that posted. And I got more coming, so stay tuned. Now, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Put some comments down below. Let me know what is your favorite N64 game. And until next time, game on. Thank you.